IntelliPeer Cap Fundamentals on demand. Editing and sharing a flow in SmartFlows. Viewers will learn how to edit a flow, how to collaborate on a flow, and how to import audio files. We're back in the flow editor with the flow we created in the previous module. Let's say that after testing, we realized we needed to make some changes to our flow. For example, we decided we didn't need to include the laughter sound effect after all. When an action is selected, a delete icon appears next to it. When the delete icon is clicked, the action is removed from the flow. We'll do the same thing with this pause action since we don't need to wait for a sound effect anymore. Finally, we'll connect the send SMS action to the hang up action to reestablish the order of events. There's our newly streamlined flow. Now it hangs up immediately after sending the punchline. We've made these changes in the flow editor, but they don't take effect on the servers until we deploy again. So I'll select Save and Deploy now. We'll give it a couple of minutes to propagate out, and then the next time we call, we'll hear the new streamlined flow. We can also make aesthetic changes in the editor that don't affect the user experience. Each of the actions has a label filled in like audio or SMS. In the configuration panel, we'll expand the general subsection. Here, we see the label for the action. We can change this to whatever we like. Let's change this one to setup, since this action speaks the setup for the joke. This warning message that appears basically says that changing the label changes the way the action will be displayed when we see this flow in Insights. Since this is a new flow with relatively little saved data, this isn't a concern for us. I'm going to click this checkbox here to turn this message off for the rest of our session today. Let's repeat this with the Send SMS action. We'll expand the General subsection. We'll name this action Punchline, since it sends the punchline via SMS. Seeing the flow now, imagine how this would prove useful. An ambitious flow might have many play audio or send SMS actions. Labeling the actions makes it easier to follow the order and debug the flow. Changes like these don't affect the user experience of the flow, so they don't require a deploy. We can deploy again and it won't hurt anything, but we don't have to. Let's click Save here. Next step is to bring in a colleague on this project. We'll click on the board to make sure no blocks are selected, then head to the Configuration panel. We'll expand the Sharing subsection. Here, as before, private means only I have privileges to fully view and edit the flow. This is the default setting. Others can see the board, but can't view or edit the Configuration panel. Sharing with others allows them full access to the flow. I'm going to share it with my colleague Trainer2 here. Now, Trainer2 can view and modify everything within this flow. If I'd chosen public, then each user with login privileges in my environment would have access to the flow, not the general public. Let's check out the left navigation menu. There are a couple of very useful tools here, and we'll begin with assignment. This assignment panel might remind you of the one we saw when we assigned a number to our joke flow, but here it takes up the entire screen and lets us survey all of the numbers associated with our environment and what flows are assigned to each one. Here's the number assigned to my account. We can see the joke flow is assigned to this number as a voice flow. We can assign one more flow to this number as an SMS flow. That means that when an audio call is placed to this number, the voice flow will execute. When an SMS message is sent to this number, it will execute the SMS flow. Now, let's head to the audio library. This is where we can upload music, voiceover, or sound effects to use in our projects. Any sound we want to use must be in WAV format prior to upload. The system will convert it to PCM and make it ready for playback over the phone. The play icon allows us to preview it here in the browser. The edit icon allows us to change the file name. The download icon sends a copy back to our desktop. The delete icon removes the sound from our environment. For best results, upload clips no longer than 60 seconds. Remember that multiple clips can be chained together in a single play audio action. In this module, we learned about additional features of the flow editor and made changes to our flow. In the next module, we'll learn about how insights can help us analyze the outcomes of user interactions.